Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Militia Tutorials. Today's going to be a guide on how to start the best vampire you can on the Skyrim SE or Skyrim Standard Edition. Now I'm going to go over which choices to make early on, and how to become a vampire as early in the game as possible. First I'm going to go over the race and look of your character, and then I'll get on to gameplay. Right, so in terms of race, considering you're a vampire, you're at least going to have some weakness to flame and some resistance to frost. So if you're going to base it purely off stats, and this is full vampires, and I'd say you should go for Dark Elf for the standard resistance to fire without weakness, or a Nord, so that you have 85% resistance to frost, which is the cat by the way. But for my one, I'm probably going to end up with a High Elf, I think, because I'm going to be using a lot of magic, and I do a lot of Dark Elf ones. Now you're going to have to decide what your character looks like. For a vampire, I'd recommend pitch black eyes, coupled with dark hair and eye shadow, for a more sinister appearance. Once you've escaped Helgen, you want to come down to Riverwood. It's just here on the map. Just follow the quest marker. Once you've arrived at Riverwood, just sell off everything you can that you found along the way. Then you'll have to make your way over to here on the map. The fastest way to get here at lower levels is to come to a cave located here on the map. It's just east of Illenaltus Deep and northwest of the Guardian Stones. Right, so you should have arrived here at South Bifflesham Path. Now there's a few enemies inside, so I really would recommend having a follower for this part. Although, of course, if you're really finding it difficult, you can just turn it down to a low difficulty for the duration. Now once you finish that cave, you'll emerge out of North Brittlesham Pass and you just need to head in this fade direction until you find a cave. Now that cave is going to be where you'll be contracting Sanguini Vampirus so that you can become a vampire. It's located just here on the map. Right, so sooner or later you should arrive outside Broken Fang Cave which is just here. Just past Sleeping Tree Camp and of course northwest of North Brittlesham Pass. Now, if you have a follow, I recommend here, you here. ask him or her to wait outside. You go You'll on probably ahead. hear him, it'll probably be Fendal. And once you get inside, just make sure you have the difficulty turned down because it's not a cheat, it's just you need to be able to, to contract Sanguini Vampires.
so now we have Sanguini Vampiris. You just need to wait for between three and five days for it to take effect. Now you can of course just do this by waiting, but whatever you do, make sure you don't drink a potion of cure disease and you don't bread any slimes because that will remove the Sanguini Vampiris. But before you do this, make sure you go outside and just get your follower to follow you again. Otherwise, they'll probably return home after tiring of waiting. Right, so just come outside, get your follower to follow you, and then you just want to wait five in-game days. I'm actually just going to wait all five. It might work in three, but I'm just going to wait all five now. Right, so now you can see after five days, I've got nice glowing orange eyes. I've got the standard vampire modifier, so I am officially a vampire, and that has been less than an hour of gameplay, really. So very fast, and that's how you can get the best vampire start for a mage, warrior, thief, or anything in between. So I really hope this video has been useful for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.